Hello everyone, this is a video on how to factory reset this TP-Link Pharos 710 or 710 CPE 710 um, device. It may also apply to the CPE 605. There's two methods of resetting this. This video is how to reset it using the button on the device itself. If you want to see another video on how to factory reset it using the PoE injector, then see the description there'll be a link to another video which shows you how to factory reset it using that. What you need is a paper clip and access to the underside of the Pharos device and I will let you know when I'm going to press this reset button and we'll see what the lights do and how long you need to hold it down for. So I'm going to press the button now and the lights have started blinking and I've undone pressing the button. So the power light has always stayed solid blue but the network or ethernet light and the wireless light started blinking. And that's it. We are factory reset, it's back on the network and I should be able to access its web interface at 192.168.0.254 and indeed I can and it's asking me to do the first time setup and set a password. There we go, that's the really simple instructions on how to factory reset the Pharos CPE 710 using the device itself as I say There'll be another video in the description on how to reset it using the PoE injector. Thank you very much for watching. If this video has been helpful to you, it'd be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.